my name is Mackenzie Kirk, and we are here in an earth science class at Hermitage High School. This is my first block earth science class. Um, today we are going to be finishing an activity that we started yesterday about geologic dating and geologic sequencing using what I like to call geocups. You guys ready to get started? Yes. Awesome. All right, so yesterday we built these cups individually. And what do these cups represent? Somebody help me out. A geologic profile. Good, a geologic profile. So these cups are representative of different rock layers that have built up over time. That's what a geologic profile is. So how many layers does each cup have? Three. We have three layers, and we've labeled them with what letters? A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Um, so does everybody have the same rock layers? No. no. So tell me a little bit about your rock layer. Somebody help me out. Go ahead, Christina. So for C, I did metamorphic. For B, I did sedimentary. And A, I did igneous. Awesome. So C, you did metamorphic. B, sedimentary. And A, igneous. Yes. Right? So Christina incorporated all three of the rock types that we need to know about for our SOL into her cup. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. It's okay if you did all sedimentary rocks, no big deal, okay? So we built our cup, we labeled our um, layers, and then we named our rock types, our rock texture, and then we buried some little surprises in there. What did we bury in there? Fossils. Yeah, we buried fossils in there. So what type of rock should your fossil be buried in? Sedimentary. Sedimentary. You guys are on it today. All right, um, the next little section was you writing the steps of how you built your cup, right? So where did we start? Did we start with building layer A? No, no. no. what layer did we start with? C. We started with layer C. Um, perfect, and then we built up to B and then to A, right? All good? So the geologic history that you wrote of your geologic profile should begin with which layer? C. C. Why should it begin with layer C? There we go. Say it again, Andro. It's the oldest and Ashley? It started at C. Yeah, we started at C because C is the oldest. This is how rock layers form out in the wild, right? Out in real life. They start at the bottom. This was the law of superposition that we talked about yesterday in our vocabulary. Okay? Everybody good? Mm -hmm. So be finishing up your geologic history. You should start with what happened first because this, that's sort of how we do history, right? We start with what happened first, and you should write it out in sentence form using words like deposition. If you um, have an igneous rock, an igneous rock is formed how? Try again. Melting. Melting. Melting and cooling. There you go. That was metamorphic, yeah. Um, so you should use words like, you know, uh, melting and cooling formed this layer, right? Heat and pressure formed this layer if you're working with a metamorphic rock. Or this layer was formed by pieces of rock being glued together and squeezed together, right? Mm -hmm. So this is how you should go about writing your geologic history. When you are done with your geologic history, you're going to show me that you're done by folding your profile in half, like hot dog wise, and placing it under your cup. That's how you're going to let me know that you're done. And if I could get some help passing out this cup sheet. Make sure yours is folded. Everybody's going to get a mystery cup sheet because everybody's going to get a mystery cup. Okay? So let's swap our cups while we are getting um, our histories written. Fold your cup. I mean, fold your paper. Swap your cup with somebody else, maybe, and preferably somebody that's not sitting at your table. Let's get up and get some blood moving this morning. 
and make sure that the key goes with it. The folded up key needs to go with it. It's okay. I know. It's okay. <laughs> Make sure your key goes with it. Go swap your cup. Go swap your cup with somebody. Alicia, I'm going to give you this one since Mimi's passing out. And I'll take yours to Mimi. That's okay. We'll have time to reply. Yes, ma'am. Yes, give them the key. So you should have a new cup and the key that goes with it. Get a new one? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Need to swap with somebody? Here, Karen's going to swap. All right, so what you should have at your desk are the symbol key sheet, a mystery cup sheet, your mystery cup, and the mystery cup key. Don't look at the, mis at the, at the key that came with your cup yet. We're going to compare at the end. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to use the symbols on your mystery cup and the little rock key that you have, the symbol key, to build the new profile and answer the questions of rock type, rock texture, rock name, and then I will let a few tables go at a time to dig through your cup and see if you found any fossils. So you can save that to the end. And then the next section is for you to write the geologic history of this new mystery cup. Now this should not be a difficult task because you just wrote the geologic history of your cup. So now you know what words to use. And then the last section down at the bottom is a little bit of a reflection. So maybe, you end up finding a fossil in a layer that's metamorphic. Would that happen out in the wild? No. Probably not, right? Um, because typically we find fossils in sedimentary rocks. So anything that you think you would update or correct on the cup <coughs> that you got, you're going to write it in that little reflection area and answer the question, how does your key, your mystery cup key, compare to the key that the person made? And if you'd like to suggest any edits or make any corrections, you can do that on there. Okay, because we're not perfect. We maybe didn't get it exactly right, but this is an easy way to make things, um, to get things corrected. Okay? So you can go ahead and start Looking at your cup, make sure that if you need any help, look to your neighbors. All right, you guys can sort of help each other, look at each other's cups, and make sure that we're all correct. Yes, ma'am. So in a few minutes, I'm going to start releasing for you guys to go like dig through the cups up there. I just don't, not everybody needs to be up there at the same time. So I'll let you guys go and dig through. So just wait on the fossils found part until you go do that. Sound good? Yeah. All right, Andro, what was your layer A? What did you find? Okay, and what's the name of it? Cole, and how did you know that that was the name of it? Yeah, so the person that built your cup correctly used the key, or hopefully we'll find out when we open the key that they made, right? Two, three. 
So you'll notice that your key for igneous and metamorphic does not have a rock name attached to it. So this is to sort of quiz you on the rock names that go with those specific rock types. Now metamorphic, it could be any of them, but igneous or intrusive igneous and extrusive igneous are definitely going to be specific ones that we learned about. And those four sedimentary rocks that are on your key, that are, you know, the four that are sort of there in line, what texture are those? The um, sandstone, shale, siltstone, and conglomerate. Yeah, they're classic. Why are they classic? Because they are formed from fragments. Perfect. They are formed from rock fragments. Good job. Yes. Are you completely done? Yes. Mm, not quite. You got to write out the geologic history. So you're going to use words like heat and pressure for a metamorphic layer, and you got to fill in your key right here. So put the same symbols that they have on their cup in there. Make sense? Mm. And don't forget to draw on your rock key. On your profile key, don't forget to draw the little symbols. Because this is what a geologist would do. A geologist would use these symbols to let someone reading their report know, hey, this is what type of rock is present. There's lots of different symbols for lots of different rocks, but these are just some basic ones. The geologic history part. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Or maybe since Ermi was here, maybe she can help you. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let table five. So, Talisha, Karen, and David, go ahead and take your cups up to the fossil digging station and see if you can find any fossils and you'll empty your sand in there. Make sure you record what layer you find your fossil in on your paper. So you need your mystery cup key. Because you think you found a fossil in that one? Do you think it's a fossil or do you think it's a hard piece? It is a fossil. Well, you can go ahead and put that in there, and then remember we're doing our reflection. So if that's an edit that you would make, then make sure you add that, okay? And you're sort of just making a guess, right? But if you look at that symbol, what does that symbol make you think of? Foliated or non-foliated? <coughs> so I'd probably choose a foliated. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. Good <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, did we find any fossils? Ooh, yeah we did. Do we keep digging? Yeah, keep digging. Make sure you're recording whenever you find a fossil. Ooh, it's all dusty in it. Kind of going to want to go layer by layer, right, so that you don't shove anything down into a layer that wasn't supposed to be. So sort of dig off the top. There you go. And any fossils you can find, you can just put into this cup. That's fine. 
What do we think that that sort of fake fossil is supposed to represent? Yeah, like a Oh, no, no more in there? All right, you can just dump it all out. There you go. And you can take the cup and your key back to your desk when you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned some things about rocks that you didn't know before. And say bye. Bye.